Hi, we're from Group 2 and today we'll be presenting on Paralytic Shellfish Poisoning, aka PSP. So, introduction to PSP. What is PSP? PSP is a short term of Paralytic Shellfish Poisoning where it is a sickness that born due to the presence of the toxin in the water. It is also a natural occurrence biotoxin compounds that are produced by microscopic algae. This disease occurred due to the biomagnification of the toxin concentration through the food chain and the effect happened to humans. Selfish is just one of the mediums for the toxin to transfer its effect from the nature to human. It was named for paralytic selfish poisoning due to the, its toxin action of paralyzing the nerve of the victim's body. So next is on the, the type of toxin created by the algae. PSP was known to be caused by saxitoxin, where saxitoxin is an alkaloid that was isolated from the marine binoflagella and also cyanobacterium. Saxitoxin plays several roles in the nature and also in the human body. It acts as a neurotoxin, sodium channel blocker, and also lastly is the marine metabolite. Moving on to the organisms involved in paralytic shellfish poisoning. Red tides are usually caused by three known marine dinoflagellate genus, which are Gymnodinium, Pyrodinium, and Alexandrium. They will then be filtered by shellfish such as mussels, oysters, clams, and scallops. The pathway of the dinoflagellate starts from the resting cyst, where it is dormant on the ocean floor. When oxygen is present, temperature is warmer, and there is an increase in light. This stimulates the cyst germination. The cyst breaks open, and a swimming cell emerges. Within a few days of hatching, they start to reproduce through simple division. They then continue to divide when conditions are optimal, especially with the presence of nutrients in the water. A single cell can produce several hundred cells within a few weeks. Thus, it becomes a harmful algal bloom. Shellfish on the ocean bed will then filter water to feed, trapping the dinoflagellates inside them. Shellfish are either consumed by humans directly or humans consume the fish that preyed on the shellfish. The effect of paralytic shellfish poisoning. PSP could actually affect the marine environment. When HAB happened, filter feeders is not the only organism affected, but the whole food web will be affected. For instance, plantivorous fishes who feed on zooplankton will be eaten by larger fish. Thus, multiple, multiple trophic level was impacted by the PSP. Extensive exposure to the toxin will cause subsequent paralysis in the muscle. Therefore, PSP will prevent the fish from effectively foraging or avoiding predators. Ultimately, the most common result of the toxicity is death. Thus, the fish mortality in the affected area are high. The high mortality of fish could actually affect the aquaculture and fisheries industries. Both industries are important in our country as it is not just a protein resources but also income generation. Low production in aquaculture and fisheries would definitely lowering the economic condition. In result, demand for fishes or shellfish cannot be met. Thus, protein resources become limited. Other than that, PSP also affect human health. The effect of PSP toward human vary from common syndrome to fatal. Symptoms of PSP Symptoms can appear a few minutes after ingestion and can last up to few days or weeks. It started with the tingling or numbness of the tongue, lips that spread to the face, neck, fingers and toes. Headache, nausea, vomiting and diarrhea are some of the symptoms of PSP. Other than that, severe cases including fatal also occur if the dose of the toxin are too high. The minimum lethal dose for adult 
are 0.5 mg to 12.5 mg while insulin is 25 nanogram per kilogram. Some of the symptoms in severe cases including dysphagia or swallowing difficulties, ataxia that causes a disorder in coordination, balance and speech, paraesthesia that involves nerves and limbs problem, and lastly respiratory failure. It is the result of paralysis of the diaphragm and chest wall muscle. Rapid development of paralysis and respiratory failure may occur within 24 hours in severe cases. In most fatalities, deaths occur rapidly which are within 12 to 24 hours. How to avoid PSP? Well, there is no antidote for PSP yet and all cases require immediate medical attention. The least we could do is to avoid eating clams, mussels, and oysters during summer months. In Malaysia, our summer months started in June and last till September. Next, we must know the quality or condition of the seafood we are going to eat, especially when we are on the vacation as we are not familiar with that area. Thus, we must avoid from eating any non-commercial shellfish. Last but not least, we should avoid eating shellfish when there is HAB cases reported. In Malaysia, many red tide cases have been recorded in the coast of Sabah, especially waters near Kota Kinabalu. Recorded dinoflagellates that caused these red tides were Pyrodinium bahamansi and Goniolux polygramma. These red tides will be detected every few years off the west coast. The Sabah Fisheries Department will always issue a red tide warning to prohibit people from selling and consuming any type of shellfish from the infected area. Fish cage farmers are also advised to move their fishes into tanks to prevent losses of their farmed fish. One of the worst outcomes recorded was in 2013, where a group of people consumed cockles from Sepanga waters. Six people were down with poisoning due to the red tide, and two of them lost their lives from the effects of PSP. Climate change has been causing an increase in sea surface temperature. This may affect the frequency of red tides in the future. Responsible individuals such as the fisheries department should always be on their toes to protect the health of the public and the environment. That is all from Group 2. Thanks for watching!